Hey everybody, this is Patricia. Welcome back to my, to my channel. Today I am doing a tag video. I saw it on Courtney and Carly's uh, YouTube channel. And then again, Andrea on True Cat 105 did this uh, tag. So I felt like uh, I need to do the tag too. So I tag anybody who is from the South who makes videos and wants to do this tag. This is called the Southern Bell Tag. So um, let's just get started. I've written the questions down here. First question is, do you have an accent? You tell me, do I have an accent? I, I believe I do. <laughs> yeah, kind of think I do have an accent. Uh, sorry, my cat just hit the, just hit the tripod. Come here. I don't know where she, she's right under me. Come here. Do I say hello? And this is Cutie Pot. Who's Cutie? Now you get my comb home to bed. All right, I think she just wanted to be in the video. She's coming back by the tripod. Hang on. Yeah, okay. Next, do you say y'all? Well, yeah, that's a given. That's a, uh, grew up saying y'all. Um, got cat hair. Definitely say y'all. Um, if you're talking about a group of people, it's all y'all. So yeah, I definitely say y'all. That is, that is a given. Um, I also say, um, over yonder when I'm saying where something is, it's over yonder. Uh, yeah, I say that too. And it comes out and that's how I was raised. So yeah, over yonder is a real thing. It just means it's over there somewhere. And y'all means y'all. There you go. Uh, how many monogram things do you own? More than I can even describe. Uh, if you see that picture frame right there with that pretty little paper in it, there's a P right in the middle of that. That's monogram. I've got um, bags. I've got glassware. I have dishes. I have clothing. Um, I have monograms everywhere. So, yeah. Yeah. I, I can't even... Can't even count how many things I have that are monogrammed. Uh, what size is your t-shirt? Now this one's strange, but I do get it. Uh, back when I was a smaller gal, uh, I wore really oversized t-shirts. I, I really like to wear, like when I was, before I was married, I wear boyfriend's t-shirts. Uh, I, I liked my shirts bigger. When I go to the gym, I like big baggy shirts. So I get that. But now that I'm a, a larger lady and a more mature woman, uh, I don't wear a whole lot of t-shirts. Um, I do wear some, but not a whole lot. That's not a staple of my wardrobe. But uh, I buy the size I normally am, so which right now, yay, is an extra large. And speaking of that, I just happened to purchase a t-shirt yesterday. It is an extra large, and it's from a company called Sweetly Southern. And if you're from the South, you know. And it just happens to say, you had me at hey, y'all. So there you go. I don't say hey, y'all, but I do say y'all. Every time I hear hey, y'all, I think of uh, Paula Dean. But yeah. Okay, next. Do you like sweet tea? Yeah, grew up on sweet tea. Um... But in my house, I do things a little different now. For about, oh gosh, I don't know how long. Way before I even started losing weight, before I started on my weight loss journey, I switched to Stevia, which is a natural sweetener. Uh, it is not an artificial sweetener. But I put Stevia in my tea, and we are used to drinking that. But when we go out to eat... I get half sweet, half unsweet because sweet tea in the South is full of sugar. You're drinking sugar with some tea mixed in. So, yeah, but I do like sweet tea. I mean, yeah, grew up on it. Um, show us your favorite cowboy boots. I don't own any cowboy boots. Don't like cowboy boots. Not my style. Um, I had a pair of cowboy boots, I think, way back when. When they were in style, I think like urban cowboy times. But yeah, no. they I didn't like how they fit. I, they were very uncomfortable. So I don't own 
any cowboy boots, but I do have family who have um, horses and they have cowboy boots. But yeah, no, me personally, no cowboy boots for me. What is your favorite thing to eat at Chick-fil-A? Uh, I no longer eat at Chick-fil-A. Um, I do like their diet sweet, uh, not their diet sweet tea, their diet lemonade. Love their diet lemonade. Before I went vegan and before I started my weight loss, I would get the number one combo, which was the chicken uh, patty on the bun with uh, pickles and always added mayonnaise and mustard and that come with waffle fries. So the number one combo was what I used to always eat at Chick-fil-A. I don't eat at Chick-fil-A anymore. So, Do you own anything Chevron? I own a dress that is Chevron. It's not my favorite look. It's not my favorite pattern. So, but I, again, I have a niece who just, she painted her walls in her bedroom Chevron and it looks nice. It, it looks nice. That's her thing. It's not my thing, but yeah. Oh, uh, what is your favorite college football team? Again, we are not a normal Southern family here. We are not a sports, we're not sports fans. My husband doesn't watch football, basketball, baseball. He doesn't do sports. I grew up, of course, in a household full of sports. My mother pushed sports, sports, sports. My mother more than my father. Uh, she went to Duke. My mother played high school and college basketball. So everything was Duke when I was growing up. Duke, everything was Duke. But um, if I had to pick a football team, Duke doesn't have a really good football team. They're a great basketball team, not football. If I had to pick football, I have a niece and a nephew at Clemson. So I'll pick Clemson, Clemson Tigers. So yeah, I guess my favorite college football team right now would be Clemson. Um, do you wear jean jackets? I have three. So yeah, I don't wear them all the time. In fact, I, last year alone, probably wore a jean jacket twice in the whole year. But I own three of them. Uh, does your state get tornadoes? Yes. My state gets tornadoes. My state gets hurricanes. Uh, where I personally, personally live in my state, which is, I live in western North Carolina, in the mountains, we rarely get a tornado. It has happened. But the way our terrain is situated, we do not get tornadoes here in Asheville. Uh, you just go down the mountain where my family lives in upstate South Carolina, there's tornadoes. There's tornadoes um, in other parts of North Carolina. So my state does get tornadoes right here in this little area where I live. They're rare. But it has happened, uh, I think, about two times in my lifetime. Uh, fireflies or lightning bugs? It's lightning bugs all the way. We, I'm, who says fireflies? I'm just wondering. Who calls them fireflies? Because I grew up, they're, they're lightning bugs. Uh, show, uh, show your favorite Lily Pulitzer item. I love Lily Pulitzer. My goal is to wear Lily Pulitzer. The largest size Lily Pulitzer makes in clothing is a 16. I'm almost there, but I am refraining from actually purchasing until I get down to my goal. My goal uh, gift to me when I reach my goal is going to be a Lily Pulitzer outfit. But I do love Lily Pulitzer. I have Lily Pulitzer shoes. Um, I just happen to have my sweet tea right now in my Lily Pulitzer um, uh, mug right here. Um, yeah, I love Lily Pulitzer scarves. Love Lily. In fact, there's a Lily Pulitzer store within two miles of my house. So it's uh, in Biltmore Village. So yay, I have a Lily Pulitzer store. How hot or humid does it get where you live? We get hot. Today it is uh, February 8th and it is going to be 70 today, uh, which is a-okay with me. Um, in the summer, we can get up to 100. Uh, we can get humid. 
we're not as bad as other people in the south, and that's because we're in the mountains. The mountains helps us out a lot. So right where I live, uh, it gets hot. Uh, it can get humid, but it doesn't get like extremely hot and humid, like maybe in Florida would or uh, down along the Gulf Coast. Oh my gosh, Gulf Coast can kill you in the summer. Uh, do you say yes, ma'am, and no, sir? Yes, ma'am, I do. Uh, manners is a big thing in the South. And some of my memories of getting in trouble when I was a child all had to do with manners. It was all about I didn't say yes, ma'am, or no, ma'am. I didn't hold my fork and my knife correctly. Oh, my gosh. That is this, I can just, I can hear my father. We were at a some sort of dinner through his work, and apparently I stabbed stabbed my piece of meat, and I was sawing. Oh <laughs> no, that oh man, it, it's gonna bring tears to my eyes just thinking about that moment. And I had to be in like maybe second or third grade. Oh manners, <laughs> yes, ma'am, definitely. And it still, sometimes it'll shock me. I have a niece who's 26, works at Disney World. And every time I go see her or I'm around her, she'll say, yes, ma'am. And I'm like, oh, but I'm your aunt. You don't have to call me ma'am. But yeah, you do. It's, it's instilled. It's ingrained in us from a childhood. What is your favorite Southern food? Oh, it's probably something I don't eat anymore. Um. I used to really love a good fried chicken. Um, my mama's homemade banana pudding. Uh, and it's pudding. You don't add a G on the end. It's not pudding. It's pudding. Um, geez. My mama made a good rice pudding. That was really good. Uh, what else? A red velvet cake. Um, very southern. Uh, what else? I never liked biscuits and gravy. I know uh, Andrea said biscuits and gravy. I never liked gravy. Never been a fan of gravy. I like a good homemade biscuit, though. A cornbread. Cornbread. Real, true southern cornbread, uh, which is kind of hard to find. My mama made it in a cast iron skillet. That's real cornbread. Um, so, yeah. Um, something I love that my mama and my grandma did was make pickle beans. Gosh, I love pickle beans. And I don't know how to make them. I've got the crock jars I inherited from my grandmother and my mother. Where you, I know those of you who are not from the South and did not grow up in the South do not know what I'm about to say. But you put your beans in and you put your, your salt in, your crock. But you have to do it when the signs are right. And I don't know what where the signs are supposed to be to make true pickle beans. Or make a true sauerkraut. And those are made without vinegar. Those are made the true way in a crock jar. And, yeah, that's, I crave those pickle beans from my childhood that no longer exist. I, I every now and then I'll find somebody whose grandma set, uh, put up a batch of pickle beans and I might finagle me a, a jar or two. But um, the old way of doing them, it's, it's a lost art that I would like to learn how to do again. Okay. Do you listen to country music? I am not a fan of country music. I'm sorry to say the new stuff. Although, I love to watch the TV show Nashville. I have friends in the business. But, um, modern country music, no. I grew up on real old-timey country music. Hank Williams. I grew up listening to um, Porter Wagner and Dolly Parton and... Uh, George Jones and Tammy Wynette and um, uh, Charlie Pride, you know. Oh, I grew up listening to that. That's the country music that I still, I'll, I like to listen to that. New country music, no. I'm not a, I don't really listen. I know some. Garth Brooks, Shania Twain. There's some I like. Faith Hill. But I'm not a big country music fan. Um, do you have Southern hospitality? I would like to think so. Uh, where I live, you drive, you drive down the street, somebody's walking or they're standing in their yard, you throw up your hand. You always, you wave. You never meet a stranger in the South. Um, 
you uh, always help a stranger. Uh, if I see somebody, uh, an older lady who's having trouble getting her groceries out to her car, I'll push her groceries out to the car. I'll put her groceries in her car. I'll take the buggy back into the store. Um, and just the little things, the little things that everyone should do, but they don't. That's Southern hospitality. You'll find that all over the South, especially when in, you get in smaller cities. You get in the larger cities, you get a lot of people from other places who are not necessarily from the South and do not follow those rules. You go into a small town, a small community, oh Lord, you're going to see Southern hospitality. Believe me, you will see it. And that's, that's how we were raised. Um, you help, you help each other. You help one another. And uh, so, and that's how I'm teaching my son. To this day, my husband opens every car door, every door into every store. The ladies go first. Um, that is, that is just how it is. That is Southern hospitality. Okay. And where are you from? I'm from right here. I'm in my childhood home. I born and raised in Asheville, North Carolina. I'm in my childhood home. Um, I, I don't think I, I never knew that I would never leave, <laughs> but here I am. Um, so yeah, I was born and raised in the South, went to college in uh, Southern Florida, which is not the South. I think once you pass Orlando, you're no longer in the South. You're in the uh, suburbs of New York and New Jersey. Uh, you're no longer in the South once you go a little ways past Florida. I mean, past Orlando. You're no longer in the South. Um, but yeah, born and raised, I, I don't want to live anywhere else. Uh, I have no desire to move up North. Nothing against being, I've been to New York, I've been to New Jersey. I just have no desire to move north. I have no desire to move west. Although my son wants to move to California, more power to him, I don't want to. Uh, I'm happy right here in the south. And so, yeah. So that is the uh, Southern Bell Tag. I will uh, write all these questions down and put them in the description bar down below. If you want to do this tag, if you decide that, to do this tag, please, uh, let me know. I'd like to hear your answers. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, and please subscribe if you haven't already. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And my email address is below, and my P.O. box is listed below. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.